Give me some details here. What are the deets? In the rigorous pursuit that are the magical arts, one method is said to have caused countless deaths during training. Witch Walk. To the Umbra Witches, it seems Witch Walk was truly indispensable. Taking the power from the moon, this band of witches were able to draw on the power enriching qualities of moonlight to execute high level techniques. What are they, waterbenders? However, records state that Witch Walk was powered by a pact with a particularly powerful demon who would grant the power to break gravity's bonds and not by the more common moonlit source. As no further records remain, as no further records remain as to the nature of this technique, any more hard facts remain unknown. However, by looking at the traces left on the buildings around Vigrid, one can make a some further assumptions. Okay. The traces are, in fact, footprints left on the surfaces of the wall. They blend into the city so well that you almost never catch a glimpse of them at first glance. In fact, those without knowledge of the witch walk would probably never notice the footprint's presence. Amongst the dirt and scars on the surface, there are many buildings in Vigrid where footprints sporadically continue along their sides. This must be none other than proof that these magic practitioners were able to literally walk on walls, surely. Many of these buildings where the witches have left their mark are truly strange. There are doors in unbelievably high locations, or the building may lack a path to its entrance entirely, rejecting all intruders and living a life of solitude. Witch walk was not just a training technique for the Umbra witches, it was a shield that protected their way of life, so that burglars couldn't enter their doors. I guess I missed a book somewhere. Exit. Let's look around for these footprints. What are they talking about? Ooh, there's something up there. Got it. I don't see any freaking footprints. Is it these things? They don't look like footprints. I don't know. Oh! Is that a bird I need to catch? No, it's a kitty. Down that way, head over here. Oh, there's another book here. Alright. About the Umbra Witches 1. Volume 1. Chapter 1. Witches were ones of talent, really. As my impression after years of exhaustive research into the Umbra, the word witches triggers within us all prejudices towards the paranormal or the supernatural. However, in this ancient city of Vigrid, the magical arts were a systematic form of scholarship. Of course, what I have learned about witches will be labeled as fraud by the world at large, or undoubtedly dismissed as nonsense. Well, there's, um... Saying it doesn't make it less true. I will begin these notes with items I have confirmed to be absolute facts in regards to their... in, in regards to witches. Due to their lack of contact with the outside world, we often feel that witches were a strictly hereditary order. However, this was not always the case. For one to become a witch, one must possess, first and foremost, incredible spirit energy. Those with the power could become witches despite being of low birth, and those without power would be forced into secular life, regardless of any blood ties to a witch clan. Naturally, children born within a clan were often quick to grasp the concept of magic, due to the environment around them, allowing their innate abilities to bloom at a much earlier age. Coming to grips with this concept must have inspired one to further hone their spirit energy. These children were also able to participate in extensive drills with other witches, and only those who had shown great promise and achievement were able to take their witchly vows prior to passage into womanhood. The exact nature of spirit energy remains unclear, although recognizing... Uh, hold on, I gotta take a call here.